Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Already, when we left off, we were uh, in the deep roads, obviously, still kind of traversing them, uh, more or less, at our leisure. <laughs> and uh, still kind of... Need to explore a little bit more of it. But we have gone through the majority so far. Uh, we still have that little turn to take. And might as well head this way. Someone's stomping. Shouldn't take all that long to finish up the deep roads, considering I'm... Already pretty far along in it. There we go. More combat. Nice. Oh boy. Oh dear. This is not going to be good. Uh, need to get help you. Ow. That hurt. Okay. There we go. Owie. Again. Where... Where's she at? Because... Oh, jeez. Never mind. Okay, time to move away from... Alistair, because he's still... <laughs> A big old red mark on him. Okay. Well, that could have gone worse. Could have gone better. Could have gone worse. Dark spawn mace. All right. Some more money. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> that could have gone a lot worse. As what it is, bad? everyone survived. Okay. So. It's all good. It's all good. I noticed most of my uh, sustained abilities went away, though. That's annoying. Um, momentum. And then dual striking. There we go. Okay. How about Alistair? Did any of his get removed? No. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. In that case, back we go. Back we go into the deep roads path again. Oh, boy. So, oh. This leads me right back to over here. Good. It's nice when the paths lead me back to a spot I've already been at. So, we might as well traverse this little path if I can. I can't. Okay, well. <laughs> I didn't know that was why I couldn't. <laughs> Alright, so we go back again. Through this way. Honestly, as I was heading up this way, I figured... That it was probably going to loop around. And I was correct. Uh, excuse me. My throat's giving out on me. And I'm not even a couple minutes into the episode. One second. Sorry about that. I'm a little surprised that my throat was giving out as much as it was. <laughs> but we continue onwards. Actually, was there any paths that I ignored anywhere else as well? Not really. Not really. So I guess this is the, really the only path forward that's available. Okay. Here's oh, hoping we... Oh. Of course. There we go. 
Well, we're doing pretty okay against these deep stalkers. Point, I'm not even worried when we fight them. I am prey for no creature. Okay. That, I was about to say, it looked like they fell over before they even got into combat with us. Okay. Fractured stone, some fire crystals. Nice. Alright. Okay. Go down this way, maybe? Well, first let's exhaust this path, because it apparently leads the other way. Onto the other side of the wall I couldn't traverse. Yeah, right here. And there's nothing. <laughs> okay, well. Should have expected that, but hey. If you don't explore every nook and cranny, you're missing out on possible loot. Speaking of loot, quite a lot of it over here. Life stone. Oh, this is a nasty oh. oh, yeah. Not great. This one might actually be bad. Okay. Okay. Deep Stalker Leader. I might as well take them. And we're good. Allow me. I could do that for you. I'm sure you could. Dark spawn longbow. Finished. How about this one? Yep, do this one as well. Dark spawn dagger. Okay. How's our inventory looking? I should probably check. We're at 80. 80 exactly. Good gods. <clears throat> Might as well toss all of those away. And away we go. Actually, you know what? Is there any armor that was like that as well. Not really. Okay. Alright. Okay. So we've exhausted pretty much all the side paths. I think. Anyway. <laughs> kind of. Mainly. Exhausted all of them. Oops, that's not going to work. Have to go around this way. And it was this path. There we go. Go around here. And up here. And yeah, we're going to have to head out to sell most of my crap, but. Hmm. Was maybe that a path I needed to take? Right down there? Down this direction? I don't think it was. I might as well head back and then see if I can go down this little road any further. But uh, if that's not an option, then I think I've exhausted uh, most of the paths I can take. I think. Key phrase. Alright. What the... That wasn't there a minute ago, was it? I don't recall seeing that there. Okay. Apparently I'm losing my mind. Which wouldn't be the first time. Okay, yeah, that's not good to go down. Let's go this way. Hey. 
All right. Get onto the main road here. Let's see if we can just go down it with the straight shot. Nope. This was blocking it. And where else am I supposed to go? There's no way it's just that. That doesn't sound or look right at all. Yeah, no. There's no way. Gotta be. Gotta be another path. Can't be all blocked off like that. Could it? Considering how much I have to do down here? For Orzammar and stuff? Ruck. Yeah. And then... Or ten thag. I don't even know where that is. First task. Okay. Mark this as the active quest. Would this lead me where it's supposed to go? It should, I would think. Hmm. Well, let's head out with the loot I have to get rid of right now. And then we'll figure it out. Oh, I see. So I've already explored basically all of this, but there are other places in the deep roads I can go. Just not quite there yet. Okay. That's fine. Cool. They just popped in. That was that was funny. Be careful out there. Of course. Done good so far. Okay. Let's talk to Garen here. Have you seen my lunch? Nope. It, it's a piece of lichen bread. I, I'm, I'm only nope. asking nope. because you know who's going to get hungry. Yeah. No. Let me see your wares. Right. Best in the trade, you know. I work the ore myself. <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever you say about it. Okay. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, sell all junk. There we go. Uh, nothing significantly, uh, significantly noteworthy here in his inventory. There's nothing that I'm needing to get. At least I don't feel that way. Massive armored boots. Was I going to do anything with those? Require 36 strength. It's almost not necessary. Uh, uh, a bonus to armor. I mean, yeah, that's an option, but... It's an option that I don't necessarily need. So let's just get rid of that. Gloves of diligence. Hmm. Bonus to willpower. Well, I can hold on to these at least. At the very least I can do that. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is fine. Okay. Jinnar armorers. 
Oh yeah, that that marker is for uh, that uh, the dwarven girl who wants to go to the mage's circle for some reason. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Figured I'd be able to go further in. And then find a path to another thag, but I guess that was not how it was going to go. unfortunate. Okay. The paragon of her kind. Okay. Eh, still working on that. But a prince's favor, the first task. Time to return to Vartag in the chamber of the assembly to see if any progress has been made. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Why not? Let's go ahead and do that. Man, we're just doing a lot of running around at this point. Not much else getting done. Dagna. Just a lot of running around. Other Burkle. Oh, that's just Dust Town. What am I doing? I was supposed to go the other way. It's the other side of the thing. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb. Or was it in here? I forget. <laughs> I forget. It might have been Diamond Quarter, but I don't remember. Ah, I'm so stupid. Alright. Go to the diamond quarter and confirm at the very least if I'm right or wrong. This looks familiar. House Harrowmont and a royal palace. Yeah, I was correct. Okay. Lord Balin is a. Uh... Uh huh. That was weird how half of that ended up registering as far away. Lord Haramont is a uh, weak man, and he will be a weak king. Yes. Ah, okay. They're running out of material. <laughs> They're significantly running out of material. Okay. Well. Where is the one I have to talk to? Where is that little bugger? Hmm. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Did it, did it say where he is and I'm just stupid? Chamber of the Assembly. I am stupid. It said the Chamber of the Assembly. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm so dumb. Okay. Chamber of the Assembly was where? There it is. Further that way. Oh, boy. If only I could read and not skim things. <laughs> Okay, Vartag. Well, I hear there were a few angry messengers sent to the Haramont estate a moment ago. A little. So you were serious about wanting to help us. A little bit. Are you ready to meet Valen now? I'm ready. Take me to him. I warned you, be on your best behavior and keep your weapons sheathed. That seemed obvious, but okay. I am impressed, Warden. Not many outsiders so quickly grasp Orzammar's rather convoluted politics convoluted. I am Prince Balin Fartag told me of your efforts against the usurper who tried to claim my father's throne well I mean 
I heard you're the one King Endrin didn't want ruling. My father lost two sons when one turned against the other. He was mad with grief, and Harriman did all he could to drive him over the edge. I was his only living child, and Harriman barred me from him. I had to tell him goodbye by common messenger. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harriman was the only one by his side? They say you killed your own brother to take his place. If you believe that, why are you here? Well, you got me there. I wanted to meet you in person and decide. You need help. And after what you did to him, Harrowmont won't give it. And I don't believe you'd risk your alliance just to find out about my brother. You may not like me, and I'm fine with that. This is a time for action, not cultured debate. We need absolute unity to fight against the fulcrum of true evil. That's fair. That's more than fair, actually. Then you'll honor your agreement with the Wardens? Absolutely. And sworn on the mail of my ancestors, as soon as Orzammar is united under my rule. Unfortunately, while this debate rages, I have no power to send the troops you need. You've seen for yourself, the city is a slaughterhouse. Criminals run lawless. I could never hold the throne if I allowed such chaos. How can I help you take the throne? You have struck a blow against Harrowmont already, and I thank you for that. But there is another faction in play here. Oh. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the Carta of Criminals she runs? The Gang of Castellus, yes. They know Orzammar is divided now and has no time for them. It's made them bold. If I show the city I can eliminate such a threat, well, let's just say my position would be stronger. Fair enough. Why haven't you been able to take her out before? She is secretive, and is only the current leader of a group that has plagued Orzammar for years. Mm -hmm. They stay mostly in Dust Town below the city. Only Castless live there. And they are too scared of reprisal to cooperate with guardsmen. And frankly, until my father's death, they only harassed their own kind. Now they attack honest citizens. What do I get in return? If you can eliminate them, I promise as king, I will send as many troops as you need to fight the Darkspawn. Unfortunately, I have little information on Jarvia. Her base of power is in Dust Town, the lowest part of the city. And my men have few sources there. Maybe the Castless will talk more freely with a stranger. Hmm. I'll go look for her right now. And I will wait eagerly for your return. Good to hear. Ooh, level up for both me and Alistair. Nice. Can't complain about that. All right. Attributes. Let's put some more into strength. And maybe willpower? I could use uh, could use more stamina. That'd be a good way to do it. All right. I heard my phone buzzing. <laughs> I was like, "What? Huh? Okay. Uh, dual wielding can't do anything more with that, but that's fine. Um. Hmm." Death blow. Each time oh, the warrior fells an enemy, the end of the battle seems closer at hand, restoring a portion of the warrior's stamina. That would be very useful. Mm, extremely useful, in fact. Alright. Let's go with that. Let's do it. All right, and now Alistair. Bring his up. And let's go to 31. Oh, he gets a skill, too. Nice. Very nice. Uh, stealing. No, 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 no. Survival. Hmm. Hmm.
No, we're going to go with combat tactics. That's probably for the best. Uh, cleanse aura. Removing all dispellable effects from those nearby. Hmm. I think we're going to do the same thing. Death blow. So that way we're uh, keeping the stamina flowing to continue doing attacks against the enemies. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Good. So far, so good. One tactic slot's acquired. Is that for me, or is that for also uh, Alistair? That's the part I don't know yet. Man, the frame rate boost looks so good. <laughs> Just looks so freaking good. All right. This is door. Ah. Vartag. The prince appreciates your service. I bet he would. Me better, considering, you know, all I'm doing. Is there? There is some more areas to this that I should be checking out. Well, whoa, this place is a lot bigger than I gave it credit for. I am not sure if this will trigger, <laughs> I don't know if this will trigger something if I take anything out of it. So I'm going to save real quick. Be right back. All right. Now that I'm back. Metal kite shield. Well. Hasn't made guards start charging at me. So that's probably good. Probably. Let's see. Is there anything more I can get away with? Now that I've done a quick little cheeky save. Herbalist. What? Lady Brodens. Herbalist Wind Widrun. It's a name. Please be quiet. My patient needs a rest. Fools and their politics. The poison was probably imported as a king killer, and she got dosed by mistake. What? Never seen anything this potent. You can't cure it? It's a very strange toxin. I know there's a counter, but the ingredients are so rare, it just doesn't matter. If you can chase these things down, I'll thank you, but I won't get my hopes up. The stone will take her soon. Exotic methods. Interesting. Drink Jarvis. Hide out. And, uh, eliminating Jarvia. Okay. Um, where is... Exotic Methods. Gave you a recipe for a dwarven regicide antidote to cure a poison noble. Hmm. Okay. You can do that. But once again, I'm going to hope that I can get over with this. Next. I did. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was thinking, well, I saved back there a little bit. If I have to go back, it wouldn't be too terrible. And I didn't need to, so haha. -ha. Alright, noble here. Another room over here. A letter from Ricka. Whoever that is. Risa, or whoever. Man, this place is massive. Alright. And I think with that, I have explored all there is to explore here. And we'll call it good. And, uh, 
leave the royal estate. Okay. Alright, now that we're done with Lord that, Haramon, we head to Dust Town. News of the hour. Lord Valen, unable to win own battles, relies on Grey Warden. <laughs> now they're starting to shit talk me. Uh, of course, I should have expected that. Give me a second, I need to stretch out my legs and I'm not sure what I'll break if I do it. <laughs> There we go. All right. I squeaked my chair a little bit, but otherwise, now my legs are feeling better. Okay. Watch out for foes with colored names. Man, this loads a lot faster than it used to. I trust Vala, my nug wrangling friend. Have I gotten all the nugs already, or? I'm, I'm not sure if I have, but more likely than not, I have. Okay, over to Dust Town we go. What the? What? Uh, of course. Okay, should have expected this. Okay. Well. You could actually just do the combat there. That'd be nice. All right. This went crazier than I expected it to. Uh, he's going to need some healing. More healing than he's getting provided already. There we go. Well, that was unfortunate. That was truly unfortunate. <laughs> but it makes sense, considering. You know. Turned against Haramont. So, of course the fans of him are going to be against me, too. It's unfortunate, but what can we do? Not much. Sad to say. I don't know anything. Leave me alone! Interesting. Leave me alone. Okay. Are we gonna... That Jarvie is a dangerous one. Yeah. I'm well aware of that bit. Spare a coin? Two bits for the needy? Can I ask you some questions about the Carta? What are you trying to do? Kill me? Spare a coin? Two bits for the needy? Well... <laughs> Apparently, he's desperate enough he'll ask me again anyway. Do you know where I can find Jarvia's base? Keep asking questions like that, and you'll get dragged in soon enough. Okay. Didn't get enough of the architectural beauty of Dust Town? You need old Nadezda to play tour guide? Well... Do you know anything about a woman named Jarvia? Know her. I used to run with her. What? Jarvia took over the Carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Does the Carta have a base anywhere? They do, but it's not easy to find. Jarvia's got real paranoid. I bet. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city. But only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. Interesting. Where do I find one of these? Can't help you there, Salraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. But that's worth something, right? Maybe just a little. Hmm. Sure, here's five for the road. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. You're welcome. Alrighty. So we need to find someone with the right token. Well, 
look what we have here. Hello. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. Well, might as well attack this guy, man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. We're in trouble. Okay. Target this one. Focus a little on the leader here. Don't kill me! Sonny ancestors! What do they teach you on the surface? You fight like a bleeding archdemon. Well, that was quick. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all. Tell me how to find Jarvia or you join them. The base is below the city. You, uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot and it'll open. Well, uh, will you let me go now? Yes, and you won't want to be at Jarvia's when I get there. Really? Oh, thank you. You're a good person. How do they say it? The ancestors have shown their favor. Bless you. Well, I think they learned their lesson. Don't come charging at me. Because I will take you down. Even if it takes a lot of my supplies along with it. Alright. Suspicious door. This door appears to be made of solid stone. There are no visible means of opening it. On closer inspection, there is a small slot concealed in a fold of stone, just big enough for a finger. Put the token through the slot. The door unlocks. Well. Interesting. And immediately cave. The what? Okay. That far away. That's interesting. That's interesting for a starting point. But okay. They're probably going to be mighty confused when they see four humans wandering in. But I'm sure they'll then figure out What's the password? Uh, Jarvia suck lizard eggs? Looks like we have a martyr, boys. I see Technically, it. yes. Okay, let's get a thug here. Alright. Alright. Get you next. Deal with the doorman here. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Well, if you actually did the moving. And down they go. Alright. Well it begins. Alright. How is my <laughs> inventory looking not great oh uh, boy oh jeez oh gosh all right uh nothing special over here okay next door go further in and now we have branching paths lovely now better than later all right well done with that guy oh ow well, at least I damaged the thug along with it. Uh, there we go. It could have been worse. Could have been worse. And there's apparently a cart of thugs past this door. The little now is better than bug. Oh, figure that part out. Is that? Is that another human? Here I figured. Oh, that's Kunari. Oh. Oh, okay. 
Sorry, mercenary. Well, that explains why they're down here. They're a mercenary. Alright. And down they go. Leatherhelm reinforced. Not bad. And this, there's a chest. Um, there we go. Dwarven heavy boots and heavy metal shield. I finished. Yeah, I figured. Okay. So, let's see. Is any of that good for anyone? The leather helm, not so much. Not the reinforced one, anyway. Which is unfortunate. Um, conspirators foil. Mental resistance. This one is not better. This one's not better at all. Jeez. All right, well, we'll put that away. Dwarven heavy boots. Eh, I'll hold on to it, I guess. Not much else I need. Okay, metal kite shields, ice arrows. Actually, I forget. Does she have ice arrows equipped anywhere? No, she has fire arrows. Might as well equip ice arrows on this one. Unless... Just making sure no one else is equipped with anything like it. Nope. Okay, cool. I need to get him a better shield than that. Okay. The missile deflection on, like, even this is far better. But I can't get him in that yet. Ah, oh, man. Soon. Soon. He'll be getting into Kalen's stuff, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay. Dwarven heavy boots. At least I can wear those. At least I'm far enough that I can start wearing those. No problem. <sighs> oh, I can even equip Kalen's shield, really. Cool. Alright. Uh, kite shield. The heavy metal shield is actually better. Yeah, significantly better. But considering no one can use this thing yet, put that away, and Alistair will eventually be able to use this. Okay. All right. Cleared out this way. Time to go this way. And then go further south after this. Oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> this is going to be a problem. Oh, I'm stuck. Can't do anything. All right. So far, so good, I guess. Oh, I'm getting blocked in. Okay. Uh-oh. She went down because... <laughs> this is a really cramped area to be fighting in. Uh-oh. And so did Morgan. Great. Eliana and Morgan <laughs> This is a really cramped area to be doing fighting. Yeah, about as well as you could hope. Jammer's journal. Oh yeah. Hey. More health poultices. It's good because we kind of need them. Wooden crate. Leather helm hardened. All right. Okay. Well, could have been worse. Altogether, could have been worse. I shall do it. There we go. And then get her set up on aim. Yes. Song of Valor. 
And... Which one? Suppressing fire or rapid shot? Rapid shot. I think it was suppressing fire. Yeah, that's a good one. Alright. And with that, I think... Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. No stuff. Mm. Let's get into that. Dwarven large round shield. Just like you wanted. Large round shield. Let's see if uh, Alistair can actually use that. He can. And it is... Not significantly better, but it's better. Let's see, why not? Move that into junk. Finally. And... I can't do that. There we go. And with that... Um... I think we kind of have to use a, a lesser injury kit. There we go. Yes. And we're done. Okay. All right. Now with these rooms cleared, we can move further down. But we are also at the end of this episode's time, so it's time to end the episode, obviously. That's what I just said. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and doing our damnedest to uh, try and help Balin as much as possible. Uh, and also getting attacked left and right for it. But... That's kind of how it goes down here, apparently. At least until everything is set in stone, as it were. <laughs> Dwarven puns. Uh, <laughs> I hate myself for that. But once we get Balin on the throne, we have a solid, solid base to keep on going in our fight against the Darkspawn. For you!